Welcome back to the channel everyone. If you guys are new here, we make videos about landscaping, snow plowing, excavation, equipment, stuff like that, tools. So if you want to see more videos like that, go down, hit the subscribe button, or go over to the channel and check out some of the videos. Today, as the title describes, we are going to be putting some new LED lights on the truck. Um, the other ones were mediocre at best, and uh, NAO, a lighting company, decided to contact me and send us out some lights. So we've got some lights sitting here that they Amazoned out to me. It took like two days in shipping, if that even, so we got here right away. interested in buying these lights or want to check them out on Amazon in the description below we have a link to both the spotlight and the spot floodlight and if you guys want to buy those lights go into uh, when you check out there's a section that says promotional codes you can go in there and then type in Carson 20 C A R S O N 20 and you'll get 20% off on the lights and I just wanted to mention that this is not a paid video or really a sponsor video in any way I'm not getting paid in any way shape or form by these guys to do this um, they just offered me 20% off for you guys and uh, they sent the lights out for me for free. So we're also gonna be giving away the lights, so stick around to the end of the video if you wanna see how you can be entered in the giveaway for the lights. So we're gonna be doing a little bit of a review on them. This is pretty much how they come packaged. I took them all out and I figured I'd just put them back in to kind of show you guys. Um, they're packaged really well. They, you know, I mean, they're pr plenty sturdy in here. You're never gonna have an issue with anything bubble wrap. Um, this, you know, in the bigger box here. So, really good job on the packaging. It all looks really solid. So, let's kind of break these out and let's get right into the video of installing them. And then, kind of, we're gonna wait till night to turn them on and see what we like best about them. All right. So, basically, what you find in the package here um, is your mounting system, which is really good for a lot of guys here. I'll just grab another one that I got out. It's really good for a lot of guys that want a low profile mount for these, or it needs to be, don't mind the cat, it needs to be a low profile mount. Basically, that goes on here, the nuts or the bolts go in there, and then this right here is what rests on the truck or whatever. So that's literally how high this is going to be sticking off the uh, truck surface or wherever you're mounting at the surface that you're mounting it on. So this is going to sit really low profile and that's going to be really good for um, anywhere that's kind of fit in a bumper or tight spaces like that. So that's a really good mounting system for that. Uh, let's pull out some hardware here and see what we got to do to put it on. So it looks like this guy goes right through here. And then what happens is this, because it's so small, locks that right into place so you don't have to try to put a wrench on it. So that's another good benefit to that. You don't, you only got to put the wrench on one side or a ratchet on one side to do it. You've got uh, lock washers here. You've got the tools to put these guys on, which go on to these back here. They give you an Allen key for that with it. So really good job there. Um, all you'll need really to put these on is, you know, whatever hardware you're going to be using to mount it somewhere if you're doing anything extra. Otherwise, all you'll really need is your wiring tools and then the um, socket or wrench for this, whatever you decide to use for that. So let's jump outside to my truck where I've got a different set of lights mounted. And we'll show you the difference in how high they would mount if you're trying to put these in a low profile situation. All right, so here they are resting next to these. You can see how much low profile they are. I mean, talking probably half an inch lower at least. So really like that and honestly, this frame, I could be wrong, does look a little bit bigger than this one. Maybe I'm wrong, but, so you got a bigger frame and it still sits lower, more compact. So that's definitely a plus there for that, is having a low profile mount. Something that's a little bit sleeker than what you got going on here. And these are some other ones I just bought. Um, they work good, but quite frankly, we're gonna see how these work. And I'm thinking these guys are gonna work a little bit better than this one on here. All right, so we've started installing it now. Um, pretty simple, this one already had a light on it. Um, so all I had to do was clip the old connections that were on there and then put new ones on to make this work. Basically, just got some of, some of these guys here, um, whatever they call them, disconnect pairs. And uh, basically, put them on the end of this guy. Keeps wanting to more focus on them. There, if you can see that, just put them on the end of that. Um, and then put them on the other end of this. Basically all we're doing here is wiring it to the tail light so or, or the reverse light so every time we go on reverse it'll turn on. Um, basically just put some uh, connectors on these guys with a little length of wires. Um, you could just 
splice these right into there too. However, I wanted to have it on a disconnect so we can take it off and replace it with the new light in the future if we want to do that. So we've got those guys on there and then this is going to get all put back together and it's going to run up through here into here. So now we've got pretty much all the wiring side of it done. We've just got to mount it. And my plan is we'll come over here, is to grab one of these guys, pieces of aluminum. Um, we're gonna cut it at that mark there, and what's gonna happen is we're gonna put a hole through it, hole through it in here, and that's gonna rest in there, down in there. And it's gonna um, just pretty much stay in there and hold it in place. And we're gonna put the plastic cap back over it. It's pretty much gonna look like a factory finish. It's gonna be hard to tell that there's nothing unfactory about this, other than obviously there being a light there. So it's just gonna have the normal plastic cap over it, like you see here. <laughs> So here it is now, we got to put on, basically we didn't put the plastic piece on because dad only wants to have one on the truck, not one on the other side. So we're going to pull this one off tonight once it gets dark out, put the other one on. All we got to do is quick disconnect it at these two points here and then put our next one on so it'll be simple. Um, so yeah, that way we can do a comparison between this one, which is a spot flood combo, and then the other one, which is just a spotlight. So. We're going to jump right to tonight when it's dark out and we can turn these lights on and pretty much check them out. But install was pretty simple I guess. You just got to put the piece in there and tighten it. We use the uh, box end of a wrench and then with the angle on it to get down underneath there and it worked just fine. So, Alright so it is nighttime now. We have got the light on the truck. We're outside here just in front of the shop. Uh, we do have a little bit of a light up here already but for the camera purposes you can't really see anyways um, obviously with the camera so I'm gonna just set the camera down on the back of the truck here we're gonna turn the light on and then you guys can get an idea of what uh, what it looks like now this is the spot flood combo on the truck it does have a little bit more of a bluish tint to it uh, the camera's making it look a little bit worse it's really not that bad honestly um, not anything close to as bad let me see if I can bump a camera setting here to get it a little more accurate all right so that's more of an accurate color um, for what you guys are gonna be looking at so you can tell it does have a little bit of a blue tint to it, but it's really not bad at all. You can see right here is where the spot is focusing. And then what happens because of the way it's designed is there's a couple lines that seem to run a little bit brighter right in this area. And then the rest of it floods out pretty nicely. So I think this is a good backup combination light. Um, by the way, it's set up. Let's go into my truck here and turn the lights on that are on here. And we can take a look at what, uh, what the color difference is. So I don't know if you guys can see very well. Um, you can see kind of where my light hits here. It's not as blue, but I mean this one is just a shade of blue, more blue. It's really not, it's really not much. And right there, I mean you can see that this light here on the back of uh, dad's truck now is much brighter. You can see how much it adds to it there or when you turn this one off doesn't do a whole lot so that's uh, that's definitely a huge difference there so this light um, really good it does have a little bit more of a blue tint to it it's got like a little more of that blue LED ish tint as you can see so if you guys have a newer truck that has LEDs I would highly recommend this light 
um, over some other ones because it's got that little bit of a bluish tint to it that's really gonna blend perfectly. If you guys have a halogen light, I would say we take a look at the next light, which I'm gonna swap out for this one in just a second, and we're gonna come back and see what that one looks like. So this is a spot flood combo, and the other one is strictly a spotlight, which is gonna focus the beam in the middle. So let's switch over to that one now. All right, so just put the other light on. So the light, the truck hasn't moved, nothing's changed. It's in the exact same position. I'm gonna put the camera in the same spot and show you guys what it looks like um, from everything the exact same. It's just as dark as it was before, nothing's changed. So you'll be able to, and I'll try to see if I can get these videos to go side by side and compare the difference um, of the two lights so you guys can kind of generalize what the difference is. So we'll set the camera back up right here and we'll turn it on. So there it is there. Um, let me cut quick and change it to correct the color on this one, because this one's not nearly this blue as it's showing in the picture. All right, so now the camera's on the exact same settings as it was in the other one to kind of give you the same color idea. This one's not nearly as blue of a light as the other one. Um, it's got a very good color to it, actually. It's a little bit more of a white light. It's not as blue. Now, this is just the spotlight. Um, this is not the... This is We're just kind of moving it around here so you can get an idea. You can see it's a more of a spot, less of a flood. However, I will say it's a pretty wide spot, and honestly, for this setup, I would go with the spotlight over the spot flood. That's just my opinion. Um, I think it's it works perfectly. There's plenty of flood to it. It's not a super condensed spotlight. So, with that said, <laughs> the kitty, what a goof. Meow. So, I would recommend um, probably this spotlight. Now, if you guys wanna get this light or the other light, link in the description below with the 20% off discount code that you gotta punch in, Carson20, C-A-R-S-O-N 20. Go down there, hit the link, and um, you can get the lights there, punch in that discount code, and you get 20% off. Yeah, it's uh, this is a really good light. This one right here, hands down my favorite. It's the all spot one. It's just got a super good color to it, and it's uh, it's got good, it's got a good mix of uh, kind of not super spot where it's just in a tiny area. It's got a little bit of a spot flood feel to it. It's perfect for this. If you got two of these on the back, um, definitely a good setup. Let's go into my truck here, and we'll turn on my lights to see how they line up compared to this. So there they are there. Now keep in mind they're not at the same distance and we're getting a lot of light off the truck here. So I'm gonna cover this one up. All right, that one's covered. Yeah, so I would say brightness between these two is um, pretty similar. I will say this one, this new one here, uh, the new spot here by NAO Lighting is uh, definitely a lot better though. I'd say it's definitely a lot better. So we'll kill these lights. But that is pretty much the comparison and lighting, the difference you guys are gonna see. I would highly recommend these lights. These are really good lights, guys. These are uh, these are an awesome set of lights. Low profile, good mounting system. We've just got it loosely fitted on here right now, um, just because we're swapping them back and forth and figuring out what's going to work best for this truck. But I mean, it sits low. It's just a sleek, good looking light. So and it's got great light displacement here. This is super good. So this is gonna uh, this is gonna increase the safety on either your job site or whatever you're doing by tenfold. These are great lights. Can't say enough good about these. Just the quality of the build, the hardware, everything they give with you, so it's just a great setup. All right, so that is gonna be it for this video. If you guys liked the video, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and if you guys wanna check these lights out on Amazon, 
Link in the description below. When you go to check out in the promotional codes, put Carson20, C-A-R-S-O-N 20, all lowercase, and you guys will get 20% off on these lights. So check those out if you would like. Um, this is not a paid video. These guys sent these lights to me, but in no way am I getting paid in any way. I'm not getting paid if you guys buy anymore or anything like that. They just sent them to me and asked to do a review, and I figured what the heck, and you guys can get 20% off on them, so might as well do it. So not getting paid, it's not really a sponsored video in any way other than um, they sent me the lights for free. So with that said, we're also going to be doing a giveaway for these lights. Um, like I said, so all you got to do is go to the Instagram page, um, find the picture about, which should be the latest picture about the lights and about this video. Go down there and comment and tag two of your friends and then you guys are entered in the giveaway and uh, we're going to randomly select somebody. Um, before Christmas on December 24th. So, if you guys want to be entered in that, go to Instagram and tag two buddies in that. But that should be it for the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and until next time, we'll be back.